Hello, Chefelle here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I wanted to just briefly talk to you about whole grain flours. At any time, if you'd like more information, please visit my website, macroval.com. So let's say you wanna make a cake or muffins or something like that, and you're confused as to what type of flour to use. Well, we all know that you should stay away from white refined flour because there's no nutritional value in it. It acts in your body as if you've just ingested white refined sugar and that white flour gets into your intestinal tract and then it becomes really goopy and it almost acts like Elmer's glue in your intestinal tract. So then when you try and eat food, the food gets stuck in the Elmer glue and then it creates all kinds of digestive problems. So instead, let's choose some healthy whole grain flours. So the history of flour comes from the wheat, the whole wheat. And I know a lot of people have issues with wheat and I understand that. But the history of wheat was thousands of years ago, we had this beautiful whole grain called whole wheat. And it was fantastic for you and humans did not have a problem digesting it because it had a very fragile protein profile. And for thousands of years, we ate this wonderful wheat without a problem. Now this wheat is called e-corn, e-corn whole wheat flour. This is an organic version. So if I wanna make something with a whole wheat flour, I use the e-corn whole wheat flour because this is the one that was made a long time ago with again, a fragile protein profile, very easy to digest. Now, after eating this for thousands of years, we as humans decided to plant wheat and we, hy we hybrid it. We didn't genetically modify it. We just, in some way, we started to grow it and we slightly changed the grain. Not drastically, because this was all according to nature. This was thousands of years ago when we were living close to nature. We just slightly changed the plant from us harvesting it. And so what we created is emmer, E-M-M-E-R, emmer wheat. So emmer wheat is things like spelt and things like kamut. So again, an ancient form of wheat, a good choice. And also the protein profile is still quite fragile in the emmer wheat. So sometimes people don't have a problem with the spelt flour. And that's why, because the protein profile is fragile. Now, in the 1950s, a scientist decided it would be a great idea to make the wheat better and produce more wheat, but unfortunately, he kind of screwed up the wheat plant, and uh, it's a long story, but basically what happened was he changed the protein profile. Instead of being fragile, which we had had for thousands of years, he changed it to a more complex protein profile, which makes it hard to digest. And this is very unfortunate, but this type of wheat is now inundated in our food and that's what you get when you get wheat products. So instead you could turn to the e-corn organic or you could go with the spelt organic flour. You probably wouldn't have that problem. Now the protein profile that I'm talking about is what some people call gluten. So gluten is the protein that you find in there again. So they change the protein profile, and that's why some people have gluten sensitivities. Now, moving forward, let's say you are one of those people and you don't want to choose a wheat product, then my favorite is the oat flour. I use organic oat flour to make cakes, cookies, muffins, pie crusts, just about anything. I choose the oat flour because it has a nice moisture content and it usually makes a really nice end product. And so by adding a few other things, you can kind of get the cake or the cookie or whatever to bind together if you're missing the gluten. But oat flour is my favorite. I use it all the time. There's also like a brown rice flour. This one I might use in combination with the oat flour, like oat and brown rice together. The only time I use brown rice flour by itself is if I was to create a pie crust and I ground up some nuts in it, and then I could use a brown rice flour. And the reason why is because brown rice flour tends to be gritty. 
So if you put ground nuts in it, then it tastes very good and you don't have a problem. So I use the oat flour, I use the brown rice flour. I also use the spelt flour a lot. Spelt is my favorite. I go with spelt most of the time, except for when I have to create the gluten-free version, then I go with oat and brown rice. Now I know some people use bean flour, like garbanzo bean flour. I have experimented with it and I'm just not a fan, not with the end product and how it tastes. So here are some of my favorite whole grain flours. I hope you get an opportunity to try some of these. And of course I have many recipes on cakes, cookies, pies, and you can check those out. I have five cookbooks. All five cookbooks have dessert recipes in them. All right, so have fun next time you're in the kitchen creating your desserts with whole grain flour. Remember, your journey to eating healthy begins with one small step. Let's take that small step together.